so this is really interesting. And this was causing a lot of controversy this week. So the NFL, because they had their like big owners meeting, like their big meeting in uh, Minnesota. Yeah. And they were talking about rule changes and they were talking about onside kicks that didn't get changed again. But one of the things that did get changed and apparently like coaches were against this, but they weren't at this meeting. So it didn't really matter. And Goodell was really for this. They wanted to allow any side anytime within the 25 yard line on a kickoff not a punt that's important too because people were getting confused with that on a kickoff so if you're on the 10 and you call a fair catch it automatically gets moved up to the 25 and so so you have a bunch of people speaking out about this especially coaches are like what the hell like we legitimately didn't want this they're saying it's a one-year trial dan campbell like was talking about this saying we're just taking away things from the game and a lot of people including myself think that this is kind of starting to maybe phase out kickoffs because they've been kind of diluting kickoffs for a while because that's where the majority of the injuries happen because you know they're running at each other full speed basically the length of the field and so what they changed right was the fact that when you like kicked it off and it was a touchback goes up to the 25 now then of course you have they can't move until the ball is kicked off so perna as someone who's been disconnected from football your thoughts why don't they just make it where if you do a fair catch, it puts the ball on the opposing team's goal line. Just move them to the goal line at this point. Screw it. Like, they just, that, that's all they want. It's so stupid. Okay. Ah. Uh, mm. Oh, there's going to be a classic Brandon Perna rant. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Let's rev up those engines. Is It is some Goodell bullshit, right? Like, it was they talked about having a meeting and that it was very unproductive and that was mainly due to the fact that the higher ups already wanted this thing to happen yeah. so they they don't have a conversation they're just nope. like we want to do this everybody's like no we don't like this we're like too bad fans don't like it players don't like it coaches don't like it fuck it we're going to do it anyway that's how the NFL just runs we i don't know why we get surprised by it every year Yeah. Uh, The thing that's odd to me, if they're going to try something out for a year, why not try the thing that's actually working in the spring leagues? Why not try that where the kickoff actually remains important? It's a part of the game. It is safer the way they're doing it. It doesn't take out uh, the kicker or the special teams players. Your returner is still important. Your kicker is important on kickoffs because they moved it back further. So it's harder to even get touchbacks. And there's a little bit of, uh, you know, there's the risk there because if the ball does go out of bounds, it's moved up to like the 45, I think, for an illegal kick. So instead of just neutering the kickoff, which is what they're doing, it it gives teams almost no incentive to return the ball. (laughs) Well, here's the problem too. And like, this is just super ironic. The Packers, who haven't had a good return guy in, like, a long time. Keyshawn Nixon is arguably one of the best ones. We finally got him last year, and, like, we actually played him. And now we're just like, oh, yeah, we're we're just going to do it. And I get it, right? Like, because they're trying to reduce concussions. They said they could reduce it down to, like, yeah, 15% they could, they could or something. Yeah, they could just the XFL. That's how you reduce it and keep it interesting. So the XFL, because they line up, right, if I'm not mistaken – they wait until the ball is caught. And what are they lined up like 10 yards away? Yeah, they're like right in the, the return zone so that they're not sprinting downfield. Both teams are all right there. Um, and I thought that there would be a disproportionate number of like kicks returned because yeah. like the line of defense is right there. So it, it seems like, oh, you break that first line. Returner's gone. But, uh, you know, it was still tough to do. And I think uh, it was the the Kels on the Kelsey's uh, podcast that they're talking about the NFL. They're gonna re- I think it's like they, they can reduce concussions by what like seven percent or twelve percent, some shit, some arbitrary number. Yeah, it's like it was like thirty two, thirty three to like fifteen yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, and I I don't know which Kelsey brother said it, but they're like they're talking about reducing concussions in the name of safe safety here. They flexed Thursday night games. They added the 17th game to the season. And uh, uh, I forget the other thing. But there's like three things they do to make the game harder on players to add more injuries. Just by adding a week of football, you're adding more injuries. doesn't even have to be concussions. And then they're like, but we're making the game safer this way. 
So, uh, yeah. you know, I agree with that. that Kel- then Travis went on some weird thing about the third QB rule uh, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, this just sucks. Yeah, the emergency They're, gonna, they're just going to get rid of it, like you said. They're going to yeah, get rid I- of it. Nobody's going to like it, and they're not going to give a shit. Well, I mean, it's really funny because, in my humble opinion, this last CBA, I think the NFLPA got pushed around hard. Like, they they did. Because the fact that there was an additional game that was added there, which almost nobody liked, right? Like, in terms of the players, no players are asking for this. Nope. And, and for the arbitrary Thursday night flexing that now can occur, and again, now there's flexing that can occur on Monday night football, Sunday night football, and Thursday night football. Now with Thursday, there has to be a 28 day notice and it can only happen. I think in December, right? 28 days later. Yeah. It's a great, great movie. Great zombie movie. True story. What's the one but, with Sandra Bullock? The blind side. So no, it was 28 something. 28 weeks later. No. Continue. Oh, with Keanu Reeves, <laughs> the lake house. Oh, it's just called 28 days. About time. Dominic West, Vigo Mortensen, Steve Power Buscemi. Born. What a cast. What cast? What a cast. Yes. People are saying speed. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Anyway, they're making these arbitrary things. And I, from a viewer perspective, I'm like, thank God we will actually see like good Thursday night football in December. But as a fan, who might go to games, you're like, well, this kind of sucks. Because if you book your flights, if you book your tickets, and then you book your hotels, and then like, it's still a month out, but they're like, hey, now this game's on a Sunday. Oh, well, sorry. So I think that that is the frustrating part. But again, the NFL doesn't care. And players hate playing on Thursday. They hate it. They're like, oh, you get like the 10 day break, but you have to play like football after four days they're not yeah. they're not super thrilled about it so yes yeah, i thing, agree like, the nflpa like because even the sitting out now too right like they punish the crap out of players if they hold out for more money like it doesn't if they sit out a certain amount of time it doesn't count as like like a year on your contract you lose like thousands and thousands of dollars so yeah it's not great oh and also like on and it's not even turf it's uneven turf right and because you could have really crappy grass we saw it in the super bowl yeah. It's just that it's all up to the owners and teams. And a lot of owners are like, well, we just want to save money. Yeah. It's, it's just one of those things that it's like, they're trying to fix something that isn't broken. Um, I think like everybody wants there to be less concussions, um, of course. but you can't just like, you can't remove it from the game. You can do all these things like tackling education, like all these things, uh, making sure certain hits are, are, are flagged, but you're not going to be able to remove it.